I hope everyone is well, fine, safe and happy. Very good. So today we will be going to do our new revision sheets. All over term revision sheet. Okay. Abhi tak humne jitna bhi padha hai. Woh sab ka hum revision is revision sheet pein karne wale hai. And here this revision sheet consists of two things that is term 1 and term 2 okay so these are the chapters of term 1 and these are the chapters of term 2 term 1 chapters are unit 1 the wonderful nature unit 2 my family unit 3 the animal kingdom unit 4 friendship unit 5 travel unit 6 jungle tale Unit 7, Celebration. Unit 8, Feelings and Emotion. Unit 9, Magical World. And Unit 10, The Time Flies. Alright, so come on. Let's start then. In Unit 1, The Wonderful Nature, we had seen the wind and the sun story. I hope everyone is remember. Everyone remember the story of the wind and the sun. Yes, there was a wind and the sun. The wind was showing his power and saying that I am superior than all of you. But the sun was very clever and it was saying, no, we all are, we all are equal. And they had a fight because of wind wind was not uh, wind was not to agree to understand this he said no i am the superior from all of you so they had a fight in which there was a man passing by there was a traveler passing by and the wind says i should show you my strength do you see that man over there i can blow away this man's shirt in no time. Watch this. It says. Who said? The wind says. But the wind poofs and poof, poof and poofs to blow away the man's shirt. But what happened, little learners? The man hold his shirt firmly, tightly as it flies. So now it's turn off the sun. And what happened next? The sun shines brightly and brightly. And the man feels the heat. The sun smiles and raises to heat. And raises to heat. And after some time what happened? The man starts sweating. And he finally takes off his shirt and sit under the shady tree. So now, now what do you learn from the story? Yes, we learn that we all are equal. Nobody is superior, nobody is dumb. We all are equal and God made us like this and gave all of us the equal power. So, I hope everyone remember the story and understand it nicely. Now, in this worksheet, we will be learning the very first topic is unit number one, 
the wonderful nature all right in this the wind and the sun then the first exercise which we are going to do is the warm up exercise in which we will be learning phonics but before we start learning phonics i would like to tell you what is phonics little learners phonics जिसे हम हिंदी में बोलते हैं ध्वनयात्मक कहा जाता है हिंदी में इसे इट इज अ मेथड ऑफ टीचिंग पीपल टू रीड बाई को रिलेटिंग साउंड विथ सिम्बॉल इन एन एल्फोबेटिक रिटर्न सिस्टम और राइट सो इट इज अ मैथड ऑफ टीचिंग पीपल ऑफ रीड पीपल टू रीड बाई को रिलेटिंग साउंड विथ सिम्बॉल्स in an alphabetic written system in an alphabetic writing system it's a method of teaching people to read by correlating sounds phonics is a way of teaching children how to read and write phonics ek aisa zariya hai jisse hum aapko sikhate hain kaise likha aur kaise padha jata hai all right in phonics we have diagrams and blanks also we have sight words in phonics come on let's learn what are digraphs and blanks so digraph digraph kya hota hai bachcho diagram nahi digraph how to pronounce it digraph it is a combination of two letter representing one sound it's a combination of two letter that represent one sound like f says f p h says f s h says sh two letter but one sound now blends what are blends little learners blends blends are also known as clusters a group of consonants whose sounds blends together remember each letter within the blend is pronounced individually diagraph mein hum kya karte hain bachcho two letter one sound but blend two letter with individual sound of each all right and we have to pronounce it individually but quickly so they blend together blends are usually composed of two or three consonants and can begin or end a syllable or word all right now let's start learning sh digraph take out page number 3 in your revision sheets and let's learn sh digraph sh digraph sh is a digraph of latin alphabet let me tell you little learners sh is a digraph of the latin alphabet a combination of s and h and together it makes sh sound together it makes sh sound all right come on let's read the poem as in this worksheet we will be doing so many activities like speaking writing reading and here the first activity the warm up exercise which we are going to do is speaking activity so are you all guys ready let's get going read the poem aloud come on let's read the poem loudly and nicely okay come on shh the poem name is shh जब आप डांटते हैं जब हम आपको जब आप हल्ला करते हो तब हम क्या बोलते हैं शह बी क्वाइट और राइट सो इन दिस पोएम ऑल्सो वी विल बी लर्निंग साउंड कम ऑन लेट स्टार्ट डोंट मेक अ साउंड बी एज क्वाइट एज यू कैन बी द बेबी असलीप and i am tried out shh, shh. and i am tried out 
Hush, hush, hush. It means how we will read it. Shh, shh, shh. Don't make a sound. Be as quiet as you can be. The baby asleep, and I am cried out. Shh, 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 shh. All of you learn shh sound. Very good. Now see there is a reading activity come to the reading activity and read with me shh i wish i had a fish i wish i wish i wish i look in my dish and there is no fish i am on the ship and there is no fish we have a plan we get to fish net from the shake or the ship we put it in the water we catch on big fish we cook it and put it in our dish in a flash we go back to the Show. Sure. We get the net to catch more fish. See learners, wherever I emphasize wish, fish, I say sh sound. Okay, loudly. So the the words which I emphasize more, which I spoke loudly, they all are sh sound words. What are they? They all are. Sh sound words like fish, wish, then dish. All right. I wish I had a fish. I wish, I wish, I wish. I look in my dish and there is no fish. I am on the ship. I am on the ship and there is no fish. We have a plan. We get the fish net from the ship. On the ship, we put it in the water. We catch one big fish. We cook it and put it in our dish. In a flash, we go back to the ship. We get the net. to catch more fish so the words fish wish ship shrink this all are sure diagram phonic words all right little learners come on read the words fish f says f i says e as it says sh fish then wish ship and sh a sh a all right come on let's read it one more time let's read this page loudly and one more time come on let's start from the poem sh 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 Don't make a sound. Be as quiet as you can be. The baby's sleep, and I am tired out. Shh, 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 shh. Now let's do the reading activity. I wish I had a fish. I wish, I wish, I wish. I look in my dish. and there is no fish i am on the ship and there is no fish we have a plan we get to fish net from the shake on the ship we put it in the water we catch one big fish we cook it and put it in our dish in a flash 
we go back to the shop we go back to the shed we get the net to catch more fish fish wish ship shake are all phonics diagram phonics diagram all right little learners now let's turn the page come to page number 4 for another more activity and exercises are you all ready what are we waiting for let's jump into it faster so everyone came to page number 4 very good little learners now here we have exercise of sh diagram come on let's see the sh diagram exercise and this exercise is your homework what you have to do is read and match the sh words to the right picture like shoe we have to match it with shoe then ship so we have to match this ship with ship picture all right so exercise number 1 of page number 4 is your homework and little learners don't forget that here pictures are already given and what we have to do is on the basis of the picture and on the basis of the name we simply have to write or uh, we simply have to match it and we have to write the names over here as well okay like c it's a ship so we will match it with sh ship and here we will be writing ship s h i p sh likewise you have to read as well okay um uh, this exercise will help you in learning the spellings as you are going to write over here so this will help you to learn and read the spellings phonetically and don't forget you have to match it as well so what is your task for today you have to match this spellings with the pictures and you have to write it down over here the name the word that describes this picture and after this what you have to do is you also have to make a sh diagram poem of your own so you have two homeworks the first homework is you have to match this and the second homework is you have to make poem of sh sound phonics digraph okay you have to make sh digraph poem of your own and you have to match this exercise of page number 4 all right now come to the next portion the next is observe the picture color it and narrate the story in your own words this exercise we will be going to do tomorrow so up till today we had completed up till sh diagraph i hope everyone learned sh diagraph nicely and if you have any query or any doubt regarding sh diagraph feel free to ask me and try to make words with sh diagraph try to make new sentences with diagraph and don't forget your today's homework i'll be waiting for your diagraph poem video make your diagraph poem nicely till then bye keep smiling keep practicing and take care thank you and namaskar